Hey guys, Cindy A. Lewis here, and I am going to show you how to make the cutest little beehive you ever did see. All you need is a cone. Now, Dollar Tree does sell them occasionally, but I don't know if they have them in stock right now. I have one smaller one and one nine inch one. This one is from Walmart I just picked up, and this one I had on hand. Make sure that you cut about two inches off the top to form your beehive. The next thing you're going to need is some decorative nautical rope. I've got this at the Dollar Tree, purchased it as 13 feet, and I've already got it prepared. One thing that you can use is some hot glue to get you started. You do wanna be careful, this is foam, and you may use some tacky glue and some floral pins to help hold your rope in place while it's drying. The only other thing that you might need are some little bees for your beehive and a little black paint. So let's get started and see how cute this beehive turns out. You're gonna love it. Okay, so the beehive is coming together. You can see how cute it's gonna be. Now, when you get up here to the top, you're going to cover the top and go all the way around like this and you're gonna keep going and cover the total top here and it will it will look like you've finished, I mean, you know, like your beehive is actually all hive and not foam. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. It's just gonna, it's just going to. So here you go, all the way around. Now I'm just gonna have to use some glue here and it's mostly adhering to the rope itself. Now, at the top though, we're gonna have to add more glue to the actual foam and go around the foam top like this. And you're just gonna bring it inside let me see if I can have it on camera good enough for you to see. And just keep going around in the middle of the, the top of your foam that you cut. And then you're gonna cut it off when it gets up here to the top. So I need to cut mine off, but I'm gonna let it set just a second. All right, so as, I, as I'm making this and showing you, I wanna make sure I explain it well. You're going to wrap your rope around the top up here, and then you're gonna wrap it one more time, not just to cover the foam, but to cover, to make like a the top of your beehive like this, to hold it. All right, now here's my beehive. Isn't that the cutest? <laughs> it's just the cutest beehive ever, I think, and so inexpensive, and it will add so much to your spring decor. All right, so the bees have to have a place to go in and out, so I'm gonna put a little black paint right here because I want this part where I started in the back. So I'm gonna put my entrance to my beehive here Okay, now I have a little bit of black paint here and I'm just going to make a little entrance for my bees, right? That's where I want it, right here. So I'm just gonna go up like this. Now, if you really want it to be an opening, you can cut your rope. But sometimes I think all we need is the idea of what it is, and then everybody, when they look at it, they realize. Otherwise, you can cut, you can cut that. But I like that right there. Let's see, I'm gonna make it, since my bees are just a little bit bigger, I'm gonna make this opening just a little bigger. There we go. You can see that looks like an opening there. All right, now the only other thing you have left to do 
really for this adorable beehive is to take your bees. Now these are bees that I picked up at uh, Michael's and they are really adorable. You could paint yourself some bees with some wood circles and make your own wings if you want to. All right, these are the bees that I got. They're so cute. Now I'm gonna glue a bee here, and I think I'm gonna glue a bee maybe on top or like this. We'll see. It is going to require hot glue. So I'm just gonna take some hot glue and put it on my bee, a generous amount, I think, and so I'm going to do my B right here. He's so cute. Okay, and then I have to figure out, do I want it up here? Do I want it up on top? No. Do I want it like this? Or do I want it, you know, like that? I think like that. What do you guys think? So this size, which I think was a 7-inch cone, took all but about two feet of the 13 feet of nautical rope. So just FYI on that. All right, and there is the cutest little beehive you ever did see. Now you could add honey dripping or anything, but this will add so much to your spring decor and it's so cute, you guys, really in person. It's super cute. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you uh, joining me today for this cute little beehive and I hope you'll make one and, and send me a picture. Thanks for watching.